happy Monday. Uh, we are jumping into a brand new week of ELA learning. And the past few weeks, we've been focusing on reading literature and learning about lots of reading skills um, that can help us to attack different texts. For example, um, comparing and contrasting, learning about different points of view, learning about theme, um, and also some inferencing. And that's been our main focus for the last couple of weeks. So now we have finished our literature standards, we're going to move into some writing standards for the month of June. Since today is June 1st, for this month, our focus will be on learning different modes of writing. We will be touching upon three different ones. We will learn about opinion writing, informational or explanatory writing, and narratives. So this week, our focus is going to be on opinion writing. So I have made an anchor chart for all of you to follow for today's lesson on opinion writing. So some of our learning targets are going to be that we can I can introduce a topic, I can state an opinion, and I can give reasons for my opinions supported by facts and details. So the really important words that should jump out at you in those targets are fact and opinion. All right, so we're gonna need to understand the difference between what is a fact and what is an opinion, especially um, if you're going to be writing a piece on your opinion, you wanna make sure that you're only stating your opinion and able to back it up with facts and details. All right, so a fact is any statement that can be proven to be true. Okay, so it's something that can be proven. So for example, today is June 1st, 2020. That is a fact, right? We can prove that. Or um, let's see, we can also say that the season is spring. Okay, that is a fact we can prove, all right? In comparison, an opinion is a personal belief or judgment. So how you personally feel about something. Someone else might feel differently, so that's your opinion. That's how you feel, your personal beliefs. All right, so for example, an opinion would be that dogs are the best pets. That's an opinion, right? Not everyone might like dogs, or maybe some people are allergic. Or for example, an opinion might be that Online learning is the best way to learn. That's an opinion, right? Some people might not like to go online and use a computer. They might prefer to be in class or in a building learning with other people around them. All right, so I'm going to show you today what we're going to be working on for opinion writing. And I came across this idea for Would You Rather, and I really got excited because I thought about my stepson at home and he's always giving me these would you rather challenges. He's telling, he'll ask, would you rather this or would you rather that? And usually there's some bizarre topic that always makes me laugh and giving me a choice of two things that really either is not desirable but I have to pick one and he won't give me an opt out until I pick something. So we always kind of do these conversations at the dinner table. So I thought this was kind of something fun for opinion writing, and I hope that you find these topics fun too. So we're gonna do one together today and tomorrow, and then on Wednesday, I'm gonna be releasing you to do one on your own for independent work. So I found some fun topics, so I hope that you enjoy them. And the first one I've chosen today to do is, would you rather wrestle a black bear or an alligator? Two pretty dangerous animals, right? But you have to pick one. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. And the way you're gonna do that first is by making a T-chart like this. So I have some pros in each column and I have some cons in each column. And I'm gonna have you decide kind of which are the pros and which are the cons. So a pro are those pluses, like the things that seem desirable or are a positive towards picking that animal. The cons are sort of those negatives, like things that sort of draw you away from that choice, okay? So statements against picking that. So pros, positive, cons are those negatives. So I've kind of just brainstormed some ideas about the black bear and the alligator, 
okay? And so these are some facts, remember, the difference between facts and opinions. Facts are those things that can be proven to be true. And then I'm going to base my opinions on those facts. So I'm gonna make a choice by kind of ruling out all the pros and all the cons. So kind of laying everything out first in some notes and then making our decision later. So now these are just some facts that I found and your opinion may not agree with mine. That's okay, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. However, this is just to show you how to start out step one, just taking some notes. So do some research on both of those animals, okay? So the black bear weighs up to 600 pounds. So pretty massive sized animal, right? So that might be kind of like a con, right? Because it's pretty big. I don't know if you're gonna be able to wrestle it very successfully, right? In 100 years has killed 60 people, okay? They're mostly vegetarian, so meaning eating vegetables, not meat. Male bears wrestle each other. They're outlawed in many states. Bears outweigh humans by hundreds of pounds. Okay, so thinking about how much you weigh versus a 600 pound animal, they definitely outweigh us by hundreds of pounds, meaning they're hundreds of pounds more than us. So I'm seeing a lot of cons in there, right? That they have killed 60 people in 100 years, they weigh up to 600 pounds, they wrestle each other, so they're familiar with doing this, pretty good at it, and they're just pretty massive animals, okay? Now on the other side, we have some facts about the alligator, the other animal. Alligators are also very large. They can weigh from 450 to 600 pounds, so very big, just like the bear. Maybe not as big, but still pretty massive animals. In 60 years, they've killed 17 people, so haven't killed quite as many, but still very dangerous, right? So I don't know if that's really a pro, but it's better than a bear, right? Brains are smaller than a tablespoon, so they're not very bright animals. So that might be a pro, that might be an advantage. We might be a little bit smarter. We might be able to out, outsmart them. They prefer small prey, so that means they like to typically go after things that are smaller than them, not bigger than them, and we're larger, however, we weigh less, so that might be a con. Hmm. They, um, more people eat alligators than alligators eat people. So they're kind of a delicacy in some places where people actually eat them. So it's more common for people to hunt and eat alligator than it is for alligators to attack people or humans. So that might be a pro for picking alligator. They do have large sharp teeth, so that might be a con because their teeth are definitely gonna do some destruction. And they're very quick and agile. That means they can move quickly, they can find things quickly, they can move from side to side without any problem. So that might be a con. All right, so these are just some ideas to kind of get us started, okay? So this is always the first step in writing is some note taking or note catching. And I like to use the T-chart to kind of outline both sides of the argument because an opinion has two sides, right? There's two choices here, a black bear and an alligator. So I want you to think about today, some more notes you can add to the T-chart and think about would you choose the black bear or the alligator? And then tomorrow what we're gonna do in our lesson is we're going to begin our organizational um, chart, our graphic organizer, to start putting down some ideas for our reasons, our details, and how we're going to back that up with evidence. And I'm gonna show you a graphic organizer that's really easy to use with opinion writing. And we're gonna go through that together tomorrow in our lesson video. And then what we're gonna do is take those notes and turn it into a writing piece. And then at the end of the week, you will have the tools you need to create your own opinion writing piece on a different topic. All right, guys. So tomorrow I look forward to sharing with you my graphic organizer and starting to show you how to plug your ideas in 
to an organizational piece. So I look forward to that and I will see you all tomorrow.